Hello, everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Kaylee McEnany on this Friday here with my co-host, Emily Campagno. Also joining us, Fox News correspondent Molly Line, Fox News contributor and host of Tommy Laren is Fearless on Outkick. Tommy Laren, what do you make of that? So first, he admitted to being drunk in the, in the plea hearing uh, with the court. We have court reporters that record everything that's being said in court. So we go back to the record and he admitted that he was drunk driving. Well, you know what? I made a mistake. But here's the problem. Democrats are now saying, listen, this was so long ago, this is irrelevant. But they're going back into J.D. Vance. I mean, you know, dishonesty is always relevant. And the issue yes. is not drug use or, or DUI. If the, the Harris campaign didn't properly vet Tim Walls, because there seems to be a few of these unforced errors here that maybe wouldn't have been there. Take accountability for it, but don't try to cover it up. And don't blame other people. Don't blame the officer 29 years ago. To me, that's the most disgusting part of it. Yeah. And meanwhile, being clocked at 96. Left. Daily Coast had this to say. In 1995, Tim Walls was pulled over for speeding and arrested for DUI. Like as, only... as this pile on continues. Yeah, we just got to hope those questions are indeed asked. All right, guys, coming up, Vice President Kamala Harris is fighting. White guy tacos, chili peppers, and cantaloupe. Hot first interview. Yes. <laughs> Appealed. Uh, yeah, Tommy, to that end, look, I watched the full thing, and it was I would probably stay away from, like, putting different groups of people in the same line as tacos after that. Yeah, so by the way, if any of you the snitch line, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, again, I, I, again I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a different generation, but I don't think this plays well, and I think you have to get to, to, to brass taxes to go, you know, listen, how am I going to fix this? And we're going to hear this speech today, but... Uh, I don't Candidates, think and I expect more from my vice president. So to your point, oh, would it be a and it was just the um, the sort of the the signaling to those people that speak that language, which is a tiny, small portion of the population. We will see. They are communicating to Gen Z and the places they watch. So we will see if it works. Ah. A new report reveals exactly which Democrat threatened Biden to get out of the race or else. We'll tell you who that. Four sources with intimate knowledge who separately conveyed this to them. The White House has denied it, but here's the reporting. As I mean. <laughs> Democrats don't really care about much besides winning. Winning is really their sole focus and their sole concern. But it's not the picture of someone who I think is going to be a strong commander in chief for the next five months. Yeah, and I appreciate your generosity of heart. I don't think it's sad. I think it's fitting. That's right. He is, the, he is the commander in chief. So take your time to make those decisions. You made a lot of decisions in the last three years that have resulted in, for example, the loss of 13 service members' lives and yeah. others. I hold no pity for that person whatsoever. And that bullying going on behind the scenes, all that does is totally belie the Democrat Party's tactics. When it all costs, and at the end of the day, yes, I'll stab you in the back, it'll be a Caesar. To well, me, the fact that he is all of a sudden we're supposed to garner sympathy for someone nursing COVID, get out and do your job. Get to the Oval Office. Yeah. All right. Well, we've been talking about it all hour. We will bring you this Fox News alert as J.D. Vance is speaking now. Prosecutor tough on crime. She was in the tunnels with the cartels. But you know her record intimately. You're from California. It's not quite as uh, tough on crime as one would purport. That's right. And that was what J.D. Vance was there going free. He transitioned to the border. Remember, she's borders are whether she likes it or not. She's touted her candidate for presidency. And he was ticking them off one by one in a really organized, I thought, effective manner, Kaylee. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Any thoughts? You're yeah, from Wisconsin. Would, yeah, so I would tell you that in, in Wisconsin, we still like our cops, right? And so um, when you have police officers endorse you, they, it's not just them and their families. They touch a lot of people. They talk to a lot of people. So that's important, number one. Remember the Waukesha Christmas parade uh, uh, yes. massacre? Yep. Yes. That's fresh in people's minds. But also, we're great neighbors with Minnesota. And the, so I think the, the most people that have come to Wisconsin have come from Minnesota yeah. because of the soft on crime policies mm -hmm. and the disaster of that state. And so it's, it's in the forefront of people's minds that they do want to have, again, fair, but also um, really good law enforcement, keeping their community safe, keeping their family safe, keeping their streets walkable. Uh, and that's what J.D. Vance is laying out here. Yeah. And leaders that keep those guys safe. Mm -hmm. All right, it's powerful. Moving. Yeah, even just listening to that interview. AI or anyone else to censor your interest in something if you want to know about politics. And, and this is a great way to, you know, make it enjoyable with this amazing actor, too. Yeah, clear and clearly did an amazing job even from that short part. Now, Facebook has responded saying, quote, Wally Tommy, they jumped to conclusions before seeing for themselves. 
automated, but humans created that automation there. What are your thoughts? Well, listen, first, we didn't do a Fox News alert on this because we all know we get censored, right? <laughs> I, I've been <laughs> throttled it too. You know, you'll never find them admitting or confirming. They'll say, without evidence, conservatives claim they asked a very good question to Dennis Quaid. Joe Rogan said, do you think not flag it? I venture you're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, more outnumbered in just a moment. Sure, Sean. What <laughs> say? He is a soft white dude from. Minnesota. It wasn't supposed to be you holding a gun. That doesn't. What, is it what makes you masculine? Unless it's Tim Waltz holding a rifle, then suddenly <laughs> there's masculinity is back. I, that to me is what what gets me and I find so condescending. I'm from. I grew up in West Virginia. It was a Democratic stronghold for the longest amount of time. Tons of hunter. Now it's turning red, and it's not because people are masculine or not. That, that it has nothing to do with it, and, and it, it cracks me up, and I find it all condescending. It's funny. Mm. I mean, well, women, I don't look, and that's the best we can hope for. Thank you. Right. And to all you young men and women watching us, thank you. Don't forget to DVR the show. And now here's America Reports.